Hi, Susan Finley here. I just have to share with you something that has made such a difference in my life, such a little thing. It is the laptop stand. If you haven't been using one, you've been working like this or bent over like this with the laptop in your lap. Once you set your computer on the stand, all of a sudden now it is in so much better position for you to work. It was a little bit of an adjustment for me in the beginning and now I would never ever ever work without it. And you also have the ability to work standing up. I can stand and type on this at the same time. It's fabulous and it takes so much strain off your neck. While we're at it, let's talk about some other things to keep in mind if you were sitting and working at your desk. Number one is make sure that you sit up straight. Don't slump back and round your back, but also don't overextend and go too far the other way. You want to find that neutral position, just gauge your abdominals to pull your rib cage down, and that should put you in the right position. If it leaves you with your feet dangling over the floor, find something like possibly a yoga block that you can put under your feet to give them a good solid base. And while they're there, make sure that your knees don't um, get into any shorter distance than a clenched fist in between them. So not crossed and not splayed out wide like a lot of men tend to sit. And finally, even though it may seem to be counterintuitive, your legs should actually be, your knees should be a little bit lower than your hips. So that's called the astronaut position and it's considered to be the better position for your lower body. When it comes to your upper body, just make sure that if you have arms on your chair that they are set so that your arms can rest down this way and you don't end up shrugging all day. Same thing with your chair height when you're reaching here. And also make sure that as you're working, which is another reason I love the stand, that you have neutral wrists so that you can avoid issues with carpal tunnel. There are a lot of things to know about ergonomics. I think it's fascinating. If you have any questions, comment below or contact Susan at wetrainsmarter.com.